Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us start with the first concept of this chapter that is factors and multiples. So what are factors? Factor is an, of a number is an exact divisor of that number. Now you might ask what is a divisor? Now let's see. Now let us say that we are dividing two numbers. So let us take an example here to understand what is a divisor. Let's say that I have written 4 divided by 2. That means 4 is the number which is being divided by 2. So in this case 2 is the divisor and 4 is the dividend. So whichever number is being divided that is dividend and by which number it is divided that is divisor. So how do you divide? You divide it something like this. 2 to the 4. So what do you get? You get 0. So here 2 is the divisor. 4 is the dividend. 2 is the quotient. And 0 is the remainder. So these are the four terms that we use when we perform division operation. Now a factor is an exact divisor of a number. Exact divisor would mean that when, when that number is divided by this number, the remainder will be zero. So it, that is the meaning of exact divisor. Exact divisor means that the number will be exactly divisible by that number leaving no remind, remainder behind. So let us look at a few examples. So let us, let's start with the smaller numbers. Let's start with 1. Now do, which number is an exact divisor of 1? That means if 1 is the dividend, which is that number which will be a divisor such that the remainder will be 0? So what would be that number? So that number would actually be 1 because 1 into 1 is 1. So therefore 1 is an exact divisor of 1. So we can say 1 is a factor of 1. Now let us consider the next number that is 2. What about 2? Now 2 for 2, 1 is an exact divisor because if you divide 2 by 1, like 2 divided by 1 would be something like this. So 1, 2 is a 2. So the remainder is 0. So 1 is an exact divisor. 2 is also an exact divisor because if you do 2 divided by 2, what do you get? This is how you do it. So 2 1 is a 2. So here also this is an exact divisor. So basically 1 and 2 are factors of 2. And that is why this 2 can be written as 1 into 2. This can also be written as 2 into 1. Right? Because if 1 divides 2 exactly, that means 1 multiplied by something should be equal to 2 and that something is 2. Right? Let's, let's look at the next number that is 3. So in case of 3, 1 again is an exact divisor. Do you think that 3, 2 would be an exact divisor? No, that's because if you divide 3 by 2, what happens? You see that you get 1 as a remainder. That means 2 is not an exact divisor of 3. So 1 and 3 are the exact divisor of 3. So this can be written as 1 into 3. This can be written as 3 into 1. Now whenever a particular number is an exact divisor or a factor, then that factor can, will be multiplied with some other number to get this number. Let's talk about 4. 4 is going to be a little different. In case of 4, 1 is a factor because 1 into 4 is 4. Do you think 2 is a factor? Yes, because 2 into 2 is 4. Do you think 3 is a factor? No, 3 is not a factor. What about 4? Is 4 a factor? Yes, because 4 into 1 is 4. So 1, 2 and 4, these are the factors of 4. Let's talk about 5. So in case of 5, 1 is a factor because it can be written as 1 into 5. Is 2 a factor? No. 3? No. 4? No. What about 5? Yes, 5 into 1 is equal to 5. So 5 is also a factor. Let's look at 6. In case of 6, 1 is a factor because 1 into 6 is equal to 6. 
2 is also a factor because 2 into 3 is equal to 6. 3 is also a factor because 3 into 2 is equal to 6. What about 4? No, 4 is not a factor. 5 is also not a factor. But 6 is a factor because 6 into 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the factors of 6. So, basically, whenever we say factor of a number, that means we are basically talking about the exact divisor of that number. Now, another interesting thing that you will always observe is that the factor of a number will always be either less than the number or equal to the number. It can never be greater than the number. For example, here, let's say the number is 6. So, what are the factors that we have? 1, 2, 3 and 6. You, you, do you think that you can have any number which is greater than 6 as factor of 6? Do you think that... Uh, 12 can be a factor of 6? No, it cannot be because if you divide 6 by 12, what happens? 12 divided by 6. So, what do you get? You, you will get a result in decimals. Right? So, basically, when we talk about factors of numbers, we are talking about exact divisor. So, we are not talking about decimals. We are talking about whole numbers. So, they will not get divisible by whole numbers and therefore, bigger numbers cannot be factors. So, a factor of a number is always less than or equal to that number. So, this is another very, very important concept of factor. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.